random Saturday here in Portland. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I post content about what it's like to navigate life in dating in Portland and even San Francisco. So if you're thinking about moving to any of those two cities or maybe you're just single navigating the dating world, go ahead and subscribe down below because I think you'll really like it here. So without further ado, let's get my Saturday started as I've just gotten back from the gym. Just got home. Elsa, mommy's home. Where are you? Are you in my closet? Oh, there you are. Hi. I'm back, but not for too long because I'm just here to shower and eat. I just got back from the gym. I'm gonna eat something really light and then I'm gonna take a shower. Gotta get my Quest bar in. I love the cookie dough one and then the birthday cake is really good. Plans today are to go to Ulta. So I'm going to get some semi-permanent hair color because yesterday I tried to dye my new closure piece since I needed one and I bleached it and dyed it in green and y'all, this is not it. So basically my oil slick has totally faded. It looks really ugly. So I'm gonna buy purple hair dye and pretty much color it purple. And then once the purple is gone, I think I'll eventually bleach my hair one more time and then tone it to an ash blonde. So I have this really pretty black top where it fades into ash blonde. I think that will look really stunning on me. I've never really like gone for blonde before. But I'm not going all blonde, y'all. I would not look good as a blonde, but to have blonde in my hair, maybe be half blonde, I think that I could pull off. So, yeah, that's kind of the plan. And then after Ulta with my friend, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we'll figure it out. Which is why I'm excited because today is such a beautiful day. The sun is out, it is warm, which is super rare for Oregon, but it's feeling like spring. So I'm excited to enjoy this day. Totally forgot to film this, but I'm with my friend and we just got out of Ulta. Ah, I'm trying to show you my bag. <laughs> so here's my bag. I got some like hair color and shampoo, nothing too exciting. Here's my friend. Hi Carly. Hi. <laughs> so we're just trying to figure out where we want to go because the weather is super nice out. We know that everything's going to be crowded. I have a question. How are you feeling about Southeast Portland? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Cool. Looks Sounds like good. we're gonna go. That's where we're gonna go. I'll see you soon. So this is South Portland. We're walking out of the neighborhood area, but oh my god, guys! I cannot wait to show you the street because it's super cute. So we're going to Harlow. So this is gonna be a little cute little place for some food. Oh my god, it's so cute in here! <gasps> oh my gosh! So I got the mighty bowl. Wanted to get something healthy, so I got some rice, some pinto beans, and some greens with some avocado and just a little bit of bread just for some carbs. But yeah, a nice little healthy meal. It's a beautiful day out. What did you get, Carly? Oh, I got something called the Betty Bowl. I honestly don't even remember what's in it. It looks like some roasted veggies and beans and kimchi. It looks really good. Yeah, I'm super excited. Bon appetit. Okay, so now I'm in a bookstore. Again, it's actually the Powell's bookstore here, much smaller, so. Hey, I just left the Little Tiny Powell's bookstore. I got a cute little astrology book that I'm excited to have. So now we're going to Belmont Street. Uh, Carly is gonna take me to this cute little bar area. Apparently it's good vegan food. And yeah, we're gonna see what that street looks like because I heard that's a really poppin' street as well in Southeast Portland. So Carly and I ran out of time to go to Belmont because we realized we had to pee and then she had to get to her mom's house since Passover starts tonight so she was going to do Seder. So I'm in my bathroom now and I am actually going to be bleach bathing my extensions because the oil slick is pretty much out. So I'm going to just kind of dye this purple as I mentioned earlier. So I'm gonna bleach bath it and then dye my hair purple and then I'll see what I wanna do for the rest of the night. This is my hair after I retouched it. I just went purple and I forgot to show you this yesterday cause I just passed out, but it is Sunday, it's a new day. I'm not really sure what I have in plan. Actually, I'm supposed to go over to someone's house today. So we'll see if that is still in the works. And then honestly, I'm just gonna edit this video because lazy Sunday. So I'll at least get my breakfast ready and I'll show you what I'm eating for breakfast. Now that brat cat is fed, I'm gonna put my slippers on and go to the kitchen. Throw this away. You ready to go out? Literally bolted out of my room. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's so nice out. The sun is out. The living room's all lit up. 
Okay, off to make some breakfast. So this is my breakfast because it's Passover. I normally have oatmeal, but I have to replace oatmeal with matzah, aka cardboard. Probably only gonna need matzah for breakfast because this food is trash. Literally, cardboard. But I will say, putting some vegan cream cheese on it does make it a little bit more tolerable. Thing, you know. All right, so we are here in Amarillo, Texas. <laughs> so you're telling me that Sophia Nygaard did that trip and moved to Raleigh, North Carolina? I would have never, ever expected Raleigh, North Carolina from Sophia and Tyler. That's so random. But hey, you know, if it makes you happy, it makes you happy. I just absolutely hate the East Coast. I know so many of y'all love Sophia Nygaard. I love her too, and I'm glad she's back on the internet. So yeah, I just watched that 40-minute video. It's only 11.30 on a Sunday. Typically my Sundays are pretty, pretty lazy. These are my editing days. Might just take it easy today. So it is lunchtime and I am going to make some matzo ball soup because I have not had it in two years because I've been on contest prep the past two Passovers that I've lived through and it's time for matzo ball soup because I'm on off season and I can have it. So let's do it. Here are the, the ingredients. So I'm going to make the matzo balls first and then put in the veggie broth, low sodium, because I need to watch my sodium intake. Okay, let's get cooking. So I have the broth brewing right now and then I've mixed up the matzo mixture. So it needs to go into the fridge and chill for 15 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna let it do, and then we'll start making the matzo balls. All right, so I made five matzo balls. I'm about to cover the pot with a lid so the matzo balls can expand and cook. And I cannot wait to eat it, oh my God. I love making my matzo balls like the size of baseballs because I absolutely love how they taste. Okay, so the lid is on. I'm going to let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes and then it will be ready to eat. That's the one thing that I hate about matzo ball soup is that it takes forever to cook. Ooh, look at the matzo balls. They're so big. Yes. I am so excited to feast. Holy shit. Time to eat. Mm. Solid. Turned out well, I'm happy. So I'm gonna enjoy my soup and then let's see what I'm gonna do next. So I have finished eating. I literally killed all five of those matzo balls and the whole entire container of vegetable broth. Oh my God. The amount of sodium that I just put in my body is absolutely disgusting. It makes me not want to eat for the rest of the day. But I think I'm just gonna kind of end this video here since I have to go ahead and edit it. So I need to get that video edited so it will be up on the day that you see it, which is today, March 29th. So with that, I hope you liked this video and it gave you an insight of how I like to spend some of my weekends in Portland. I guess you could say this is me spending Passover alone in Portland. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye.